Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, we're not just going to answer the question, can Power Automate send emails? We're also going to be looking at how we can automate emails, our own personal emails, as well as the emails that we receive to a shared mailbox. So the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to Power Automate. So from Office365's office.com, all I need to do is type into the search bar Power Automate, and then that will then take me to my Power Automate um, page. From here, I can click on the Create button on the left-hand side to get started. Now, just because I'm going to do some examples today, I'm just going to click on the uh, uh, Automated Cloud Flow and then just click on Skip, just because I'm going to start off the process by uh, talking a little bit about the triggers um, of Power Automate. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that Power Automate is built up in a structured way, that every Power Automate has to have some form of trigger, meaning that um, it actually has to have a starting point. Something has to start the workflow running. And then it's then built up within the workflow of a series of different actions or conditions, and then eventually it'll finish. So it runs from top to, to bottom. So the triggers when we're talking about um, emails are actually from this connection here, Office 365 Outlook. Now we can see the different uh, triggers which live within here. So we can make our Power Automate trigger when a new email arrives. Um, so that's the most common. So basically when an email comes into your mailbox, when an email is flagged, so that's actually when you're inside of Outlook and you flag an email. Um, there's actually some native features inside of Outlook which integrates things like Planner um, uh, and Microsoft To Do uh, where you can have flagged emails. But you can also build out your own triggers using that flagged email. Uh, when a new email arrives in a shared mailbox, so this is what we were talking about before, that you can actually do this for not only your own uh, emails, um, but also shared mailboxes. So within here, you can put in the original uh, mailbox address, and then you can select what folder that it's coming to. So this acts just as much as a trigger as that other action we were looking at before, uh, where emails are coming into our own mailbox. And then from there on, um, obviously the actions can be uh, different. Um, we can also say when an email mentioning me arrives. So this might be an email where you've been particularly tagged in something um, to say, um, Dougie, please take a look at this. So I might want to then automate something from that to give an automated response, say, hi, yeah, I'll take a look at that for you uh, shortly. Um, and then maybe it sends me a, a sort of a push notification or something like that to my phone. Uh, when a new uh, event is created, so when we're creating an event, maybe you want to automate something, automatically go and share that with a distribution list or something like that. When an event is added, updated or deleted, or when an event is mod modified, uh, or when an upcoming event is starting soon. So again, you might want to use this if you're into um, event organization. It might be that you want to automate things like emails going out to people on the run up to when an event is starting as a reminder or with a link to where the sort of the meetings taking place or something like that. So I'm just uh, for now, I'm just going to choose this when an email arrives. But then you can see now I've got this trigger. Um, I can then use any other form of actions from here. So this might be that I, I'm sending out some kind of notification to myself. Uh, it might be that I'm taking a copy of the email and sending it somewhere. But essentially, these are the kind of actions which are happening once an email arrives. You can also see um, from this with a folder, I can choose different folders. So it's not just my inbox um, that, that uh, I can use this for. I could create a folder or even automate something when I move something into my junk email um, folder. Um, and that way you can automate different things. And it's not always just every email that comes into your inbox. You might have a folder that you created a forwarding rule inside of Outlook um, for a certain circumstance. And when that email hits that folder, we can then use this trigger as our sort of starting point then for our Power Automate workflow. So what other uh, actions have we got? So we talked about the triggers then um, for our emails. But what other actions do we have? So again, if we just look for um, the Outlook connector so then once we're actually into the body then of our workflow you can see we then got these actions here so these are all the different things that you can do um, with the outlook um, connector so we can create a contact so um, we could create a contact within office 365 we could create an event um, so we could send a sort of calendar invite or something like that we can send a HTTP request this is a bit more advanced um, more of a kind of developer kind of area now, this is where we can send an email. So um, we'll come back to this uh, in a minute and just talk about this a little bit more. Um, but we can also delete a contact. We can delete emails, delete events. We can export emails. 
Um, we can uh, find meeting times. Um, now I'm not going to go through necessarily all of these, but you can see there's a whole bunch of different actions in here which could be really useful for automating things which are going on inside of Outlook. Moving emails, replying to emails, um, sending email from a shared mailbox. This is the other one that I just wanted to show that not only we can send an email from ourselves, but we could also send an email back from a shared mailbox. So let's say, for example, we've received an email um, to, to a shared mailbox. Maybe we've analyzed it in some way. Um, in previous um, videos, I've talked about using uh, the sort of AI sentiment analysis to determine whether an email is good or bad. Now, we could then use something like the send uh, from a shared mailbox action within that. So if we've received a, an email as our trigger is uh, received to a shared mailbox, we then use the AI sentiment to work out whether that email is good or bad. Maybe this is coming into our um, sort of, uh, sort of uh, customer feedback mailbox or something like that. Um, and then if it, we could use this sender's email uh, from a shared mailbox to respond on behalf of the mailbox and if it was good we could send a thanks for this really great thanks for good feedback or if we determined it's negative we could say sorry that you've had this poor experience we'll get back to you soon or something like that the other one which is worth mentioning is this send email with options now send emails with options will actually allow you to send an email um, so you could specify who the email is going to be to um, so i'll just send this to myself for now my test email address uh, a subject um, so Maybe it's something like um, what did you think of our service? And then you've got these options here, so these user options. So within here, what we can do is we can say um, we can create our own types of options by saying maybe great, not so great, poor service, or something like that. And when you specify a comma in between each of these options, that's where then you'll actually have different buttons that will appear inside of this email. So I've quickly just sent uh, that, that flow running. And you can see here, this is what that send with options would then look like. So you can see here we've got a button, so great, not so great, poor service. And when we click on that, that will then say, thank you, your response, great, has been successfully registered. Now, what that means is back inside of our, our workflow, inside of here, um, we can then basically inside of the workflow, it would then be waiting for that send email with options to be received. And then we can use the responses that come back from that to make decisions. So we could use a, a condition, for example, and we could choose a value. So, so you can see here this under send email with options, we've got selected option. So if we said selected option is equal to great service, then we could maybe respond to them and say, yep, yeah, great, brilliant, blah, blah, blah. Um, can we have a, a sort of case study or a quote or something from you? Um, maybe if it was equal to um, a sort of poor service, then we might want to automatically create a task for one of our customer success managers to follow up with that person. to sort of say, sorry to hear you've had a poor service. What was it? How can we improve in the future? Uh, and that kind of thing. So that's uh, sending email with options. Again, really useful action with inside of um, the Office 365 Outlook connector. So just taking a quick look at some of the other ones as well. So we touched on some of those. Um, set of automatic replies, updating events, all that sort of stuff um, is really useful. Um, to do but also we've got this send an email so just this is the typical one where we can send an email we can specify who it's to now you might want to specify someone directly you can also pass in a variable into there if it's something that you've calculated further up in your um, workflow if you want to send the email we can specify a subject and we can also specify the body um, now if if you wanted to do something a little bit more advanced you can also click on this code view here and you can then enter your email um, with HTML now this is really useful Useful if you wanted to sort of style it up with sort of inline um, sort of styling. Um, if you wanted to provide kind of a hyperlink, um, say for example you'd created something in like a document in SharePoint and you've got a link from the connector above, um, you can use the kind of uh, the, the, the pass through URL that comes from that as a variable to put into a hyperlink into your email, for example. So you can treat this as almost like a deep linking um, into an actual email. Um, if you're interested in any of those additional pieces, please let me know and I could create a separate video specifically how to do that. Please like and subscribe to my channel.